what's going on youtube so you know i had to do a little black friday shopping my package has arrived and i hope it fits on the bench so we're gonna get this unboxed we're gonna build it up super excited about this let's see what it is It's Sexy Beast. Picked up the Arma Outcast EXB roller. Got a great deal on it, guys. I got a great deal on the electronics as well. So, just had to do it. I had to complete the entire stunt truck collection line. So, we already, you know, we started with the 3S Granite. Picked, just recently picked up the 4S Outcast. Got the 6S Notorious. And now the collection is complete. Got the 8S Outcast. So the entire stunt line is in the house. If you guys have been following the channel, you already know my favorite basher is the 6S Notorious. So let's get this big boy out of the box. Let's take a quick look at it as we're going to build it up. And I'm going to bring you along for the ride. So this barely fits on the workbench, but we were able to squeeze it in there. If you've been following the channel you already know this is my favorite part of unveiling the RC and this is one hell of a great looking body so you already know it has that matte black finish with the gloss EXB emblem all around the truck let me go ahead and bring you a little closer these turnbuckles guys those are thick man you guys already know the you already know the type of bashing that i do i'm not going to send this vehicle 20 25 feet i'm going to send it about 10 15 feet maybe max but we are going to bash it and there's some super super thick shocks don't just bash blast in my favorite If you could read this, just send it. Where this truck shines, where the RTR is really not that durable, Arma did address some of the uh, weak points of the truck. Uh, you also get sway bars on the EXP. The RTR does not come with that. We now have the thicker shock shafts and definitely the thicker turnbuckles of course you got your exb 70 75 five millimeter chassis which is also more durable feels nice right out of the box and armor does a really good job with their suspension tuning pretty much so don't know what the uh, weight of the shocks are front and rear that's probably a good thing to find out but this vehicle guys is massive it looks great let's see what we got for it so this is the electronics i've chosen for this beast we're gonna go with a power hobby 701 mg fifth scale servo 
we're just going to do a SR315 three channel spectrum to pair up with my DX5C. Got a great deal on this Hobbywind Max 6. It's not the overpowered Max 5 combo, but I did want the 1100 kV. Just a little bit more speed on my basher. I kind of like it, but uh, um, hopefully I can get it to go about 50, 55 maybe. But I'm not gonna crazy gear it, so I do want to keep my temps in check. And for that, I picked up the Power Hobby Twin Turbo High Speed 40 milli 40 millimeter cooling fans. This will fit your 56 to 58 millimeter can motor. And we're gonna gear it up with a Power Hobby 28 tooth. Um, in my opinion, this is conservative gearing, not too high. I am gonna keep the 47 stock spur on it because I know this is not a crazy powerful system. I know a lot of people usually go with the Max 5, but I'm telling you guys the deal that I got on this for Black Friday, I just couldn't beat it. So. Hopefully it will run fine. I think it will, but we're gonna find out. So this is what I'm going with to power up this bad boy. And uh, we should be all set. The kit does come with uh, the two motor mounts, the 56 millimeter and the 49 series. So obviously this is a 56. And it does come with the fifth scale and sixth scale brackets for the servo. So the kit, the EXB kit does come with everything. So let's get this, uh, let's get these electronics put in and uh, let's keep it going. So I didn't want to bore you guys with the installation of the servo saver, but a couple of things that I did uh, want to touch on since you have to center, center your servo and stuff like that. Um, this last final piece right here, which is the bearing with this little plastic piece. The piece before is one of those counter clockwise screws. It says it in the manual, I kind of didn't read it right away, but uh, it actually slots into, so this la this final piece kind of stays loose on the servo saver and it kind of slots into that final piece right in there. So no need to worry about it falling out or anything like that. Kind of like that I just Everything just kind of flows with the power with the black and white hobby wing, the power hobby fans, and even the servo is to it, even though we won't see it because it goes with the cover. But uh, you definitely want to test everything and get everything uh, going, especially uh, centering your servo and stuff like that. So we'll drop that in, mount the ESC, mount the motor, make sure. With these uh, screws, you use that Loctite, and also with the uh, these two right here. So we're gonna put some Loctite out. We're gonna throw on the pinion and keep the build going. Let's just make sure everything works. Things are working. You see, it's good. And my server is working. So, everything looks good, guys. All right, guys, build complete. Let's take a quick look at it. Super easy build, guys. This thing, this thing came together effortlessly. Super fun to put together. Um, I did forget to mention uh, the servo saver also does come with a 15 tooth and a 17 tooth. I ended up getting two 15 tooths. So the Power Hobby HD 701 MG is a 15 tooth. So just gotta calibrate it. And we're set to go guys. I'm gonna try it on 6S first, just to make sure my mesh is good. There's only one more thing that I gotta do. Give it my own little personal touch. All right, so you already know these Joe's RC Garage stickers make the car faster, so we gotta throw them on there. And we are complete. I also made this the world's first Outcast EXB Venom Edition. It 
This is Venom. Let's go take Venom out, make sure this is working properly. All right, so the only thing I did was turn up the punch to uh, punch four. So I'm pretty getting good steering from this power hobby servo. It's working really nice. So just kind of running it just on 6S only just to see if everything's operating really. Mesh sounds good. Steering servo is working really good, guys, for this vehicle. I'm really happy with it. Ada speed run. that got because I'm running out of daylight here fifty five on the nose baby fifty five is nice guys for this big beast super happy with that Hopefully my temps will be in check and I'm good to go. Hopefully I have enough daylight you guys can see the speed run. Oof, I'm losing it. One more go. She's fast, guys. 55. I think that's how we're gonna get out of it guys 
super happy with that i hope i had enough daylight here for you guys to see it i was up against time today guys but definitely on the next video uh we're gonna bash it i just wanted to see how i was gonna do on 8s on a speed run right out of the box with the max 6 29 tooth pinion on 8s so thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you soon